So it's, I think you're a visionary. The fact that you're uh, linking yourself with European white people, yeah, I've said it, the W word, white people, who are struggling to survive, not to dominate anybody, just struggling to survive in their ethnic homeland is a very wise move, is a very bold move. And I know, obviously, any time an Irishman speaks to a Brit, it can be controversial. It's controversial the other way as well. And that's what people don't forget. It's all, it works both ways. But until we go over that old division, and remember, what kept Ireland a slave country and has divided the island of Ireland for all these years is clever people, the elites, playing the sectarian card, orange against green. Well, I say no more. I say no more. No more Brothers Wars. And I think you're also ahead of the curve because what's the point of talking to just milk toast Protestants, the sort of Anglican types? They, they've got, they won't make any difference about United Ireland or not. You have to speak to the hardcore, devoutly Ulster-based Protestants, people like me. Because, you know, we have to come to a consensus. We either have another big war, a real war, with thousands of people killed, and then the whole place is ruined. It might be United Ireland, but United with what? Nothing. And what I find now, you're an Ulster man, like my good self, I find it's always people from some leafy suburb of Dublin or Cork or Limerick who are always breathing and shouting about, let's go to war and let's do this and let's do that. You've lived in an area that was affected by the Troubles. I grew up in the Troubles. I come from a very sectarian, narrow background. I reject all of that. I've grown up now. I still love my country. But we need to engage with one another. And I'm engaging with mad, crazed Catholic Republicans. It's a... It's a Quite a difficult thing both ways, but what's the alternative? The alternative is more war, more bloodshed, and well, we're at each other's throats. The guys like Murphy, the communists, the Reds, and the Muslims will take over. I am not prepared to see that. So I am prepared to reach both hands in friendship out to my Irish friends, people who we share this island with, and come together. Let's defend this island. Let's take our island back. Then if we all want to fight each other again, fine. It's our fight. It's nothing to do with them. But let's try and secure Ireland first. That's what I think.